Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. I am pleased to have Sam Pham come on the show to talk about how Greg Monroe will fit into the Bucks offense. He has his own channel, does really great tutorials and tips, so check that out. And don't forget, there are a lot of in real life comparisons here and how the Bucks will work with Greg Monroe in Jason Kidd's offense. So get excited guys, because Fear the Deer is real. Also, Point 3 has these great shorts that we've talked about before. They have this awesome panel that we can wipe your hands and it gets the sweat right off of there. It doesn't make them heavy. So just check it out. They have some really cool styles. They also have shirts that can keep your face dry as well. And also, it might not be your sweat that you have to wipe off, right? You know, I know playing in those pickup games, you got to guard guys, your hands get sweaty, you're going to drop that ball. So go over there, check out these shorts. They're really cool. I know I am. Are you? Today, we bring you a unique basketball collaboration. We got the YouTube channel B-Ball Breakdown with Coach Nick and Sam Pham of NBA 2K Tips. That's right, we're combining real basketball knowledge to 2K game tactics. Today, me and Coach Nick are going to show you how to use Greg Monroe as an offensive hub on NBA 2K. In terms of free agency signings, the Greg Monroe signing is probably the best fit of them all outside of the Marcus. He's going to be able to unleash the Bucks offense with his posting and passing. So, are you all in? That's right, let's get to this tutorial, Sam Pham style. Alright, so let's begin with the ratings of Greg Monroe. Now, in terms of shooting, this man is not going to give you much. He's got very weak mid-range and he's got no free point shooting to speak of. But what he can do for you is that he has extremely good hands, high offensive consistency, he's a smart passer and boy, can this man post. Look at those post ratings. He doesn't have like deck out badges, but he's got the ones you need. Since you'll be using him mostly for post ups, he's got those badges. He's also got brick wall, that means he's gonna set some nice on ball and off ball screens. And now let's begin with Monroe's post moves. He's got a nasty hook. So to do a hook shot on 2K, you wanna push the right stick towards the basket and hold it, and Monroe is deadly with this move. He's also got a solid up and under, Push the left stick towards the basket, tap square to pump, and then this time hold square throughout and he will finish with double pump. Now he can also create offense for others. This is the best part about Monroe on this team. Because if you look around, there's not a lot of offensive creators on the Bucks team. Not a lot of shooters either. So Monroe is going to do what he can from his post passing to create as much offense as possible for others. So you can take a look at it here. We're running the play floppy punch. And here we can showcase Monroe's off-ball pick skills. Here he set a pick from Middleton, the Bucks only great shooter, and he sticks it. Now the replay I'm going to leave to Coach Nick. So you can see how Monroe is big enough and has enough veteran savvy to know how to get away with a slightly moving screen to erase Middleton's man and get him an open shot. I also like how he posts up immediately, an option to get a good post up for him. Now, we're also going to run the play spread 1-5 high, and I'm going to show you guys a trick in terms of post entry. So you click X to entry pass, but hold on to it, don't let go after you click it. You will actually become the person who did the entry pass. So look at me here, I'm still Michael Carter-Williams, I'm doing a manual cut, and if I let go of X, Greg Monroe will feed it to me as computer, I get a great entry pass, pass and cut. Monroe is deadly. This is also a great way to get MCW some looks, and once again, I'll leave it to Coach Nick. The give and go is one of the oldest plays in the book, and I'm happy to see it alive and well in 2K. Watch how MCW uses Monroe as a pseudo screen before getting to the hoop to receive the pass. Monroe's passing ability allows the ball to get there without it getting tipped. This time around we're running another play, this time we're also still going to do the hold the X and stay as the cutter, but you're not going to cut the cut every time, so what do you do then? Actually, if you just don't touch anything, eventually you'll become Monroe again. And look at me here, I become Monroe again and I hit him with that nasty shimmy hook. This is a great way to post up in real life as well, as Monroe feels the defender on his back as he basically does a jump stop with his back to the basket. This allows him to feel the defender on the baseline side, and he gets that right foot beyond the defender's right foot. Once that happens, game over. And in terms of Monroe, he also plays really good with Jabari Parker. You can see the two young bucks getting it on, working it great here. This is some great action because the ball screen is being set at the elbow one dribble away from getting right to the rim, making it very difficult for the defense to stop. And on this play, we've got zipper 51 give 14 high. Middleton catches the ball off the zipper cut, 
hits Monroe in the high post again, and on this pinch post action, Milton curls and watch the gorgeous wraparound bounce pass for the layup. So there you have it, sports fans. Big thanks to Sam Pham for breaking down how Monroe will fit into the Bucks' offense. There are lots of parallels to what will happen in real life with Jason Kidd's offense, and there is no question opposing teams will fear the deer. Check out Sam Pham over on his channel for great tutorials and tips on NBA 2K. I know I'm in.